our workout. We did some buys and tries, a little chest in there too. And then now we're drinking protein shake. I was in here filming a messy bun tutorial for YouTube, so I don't drink my shakes in the bathroom usually. <laughs> but yeah, so John is my trainer. Had to hire him <laughs> because I am struggling to push myself lately. I really just need like someone to push me and switch things up and do things differently and teach me new exercises. John is the one that got me into working out in the first place. And then after he kind of like showed me the ropes, I kind of just like took it and ran and found my own kind of workouts that I love to do. But it's good to switch it up every once in a while. He's adding more agility for me and like more training like an athlete instead of just like to look a certain way, like body willing, which is how I usually train. So yeah, it's been fun so far. We've done back, we've done shoulders, we've done thighs and tries, we've done legs. Tomorrow we're gonna do full body, so I'll record that one too. But a lot of you guys were interested in seeing this as like a little series and some of you asked to add the workouts to the app, but that would be like a huge project. So I'm just going to share them as we do them on YouTube. So you guys can do them with us if you want to. And yeah. But all my regular workouts will still be on the app. I feel like this is like saying that those workouts aren't effective and it's definitely not the case. It's just, again, like I said, I just need right now, like quarantine and everything this year has just been really hard. And so I'm really trying to like gain muscle back and it's just been hard to get back into a routine. So that's really, a lot of what we're doing also is just things that I've done before, or maybe just doing them in a different way, slowing things down, doing more reps, doing more weight than I would usually push myself to do. So yeah, sometimes it's hard to push ourselves because um, we think we're like not capable, but definitely are. So there's that. And I guess I'll show you guys how to do a messy bun on here too, because why not? Favorite hair ties are these like power Clear Power Bobble, I think is the name. There we go. Yeah, these are like perfect for a long, thick hair though. So I will try and find a link. It shouldn't be that hard. So I'll link them in the description box for you. But all I do is like flip my head over, collect it all at the top or wherever you want it. And then hair ties on my right wrist, pull it over and twist and then grab it with my left hand and then pull the rest of this around and then pull it over and tight. Oh, that was a little crazy. Kind of watching the camera and not actually myself. And sometimes I usually have like little pieces sticking out, which is fine. Nice and Some Ham bone soup for lunch that John made with so much love and homemade ham bone broth, and it's so delicious and silky and yummy. Kentucky Cheese might get some ham if he's a good boy. I've given him a good amount already. Ah, oh, he's spoiled, I see. He's overdoing on the ham. I see. <laughs> Guilty. Okay, so I told myself that I was gonna record this reel, like fashion reel, whatever. And then I was like laying on the couch and John left to go work out. And I was like, mm, maybe I'll just do it tomorrow. I have this huge sit on my forehead. Well, it's like that started as a zit and then this is just like it's friend, but I don't think this is a zit. Anyways, that was gonna basically be my reason for not recording today. I'm like wearing my purse if I'm going somewhere. But then I was like, you know what? Even if you don't record it, just put the outfits together so you like have them and you know what like you have a plan, you know what you're gonna wear in the video. So when I put it on, I was like, I guess, I mean, I'm basically ready to just not my makeup. I might as well just film it. This was the first outfit I threw together for like a little fall look. And I think it came together so cute. I feel super kind of like bougie with this hairstyle, but I love it. I love a half up moment. And we have these, the croc alligator snake skin. I don't even know. Some type of amphibian? No, reptile. Oh my God, what under, I need to go back to middle school. Anyways, yeah, so anyways, it's just literally, I found this vintage U of M crew neck on, I think it's called Reinstated Vintage. They have an app. Yeah, and I thought it was so cute. And I was like, I need like a cute little like 
because it would be like football season, you know, and then but making it cute. So with some booties and skinny jeans, I've been going towards baggy jeans a lot lately. So I was like, all right, let's switch it up. And a little black purse for a little, I was gonna do a light color purse, but I was like, that's just too much light going. I need some, something dark. So I think I'm just gonna put my makeup on and then, or maybe let me figure out the other outfits first before I dive all into this. I tend to do that quite a bit. So yeah, I will link everything below. But um, I think the booties are Steve Madden. Jeans are Good American. These are older. And then this sweatshirt, again, has reinstated vintage. Little YSL bag. They can wear crossbody. I'm wearing a <laughs> double zero in these jeans right now. If that tells you how much weight I have unintentionally lost. Okay, now I'm gonna figure out another outfit because I have absolutely no idea where I'm going with the next one, but we'll see. Outfit number two also came together pretty easily. I swear to God, when I'm like rushing to find an outfit, I can never put anything together, can never figure out what to wear, get so frustrated, ruins my whole day. <laughs> and then when I don't really like, I'm not in a rush, then they come together as I put them on. So. Yeah, I really like this one. I don't really know. I'll probably just, I could probably wear that same black shoulder bag actually, or maybe like fanny pack across. Fanny pack might be like too much going on. This is already like a very um, bold, edgy look. So I don't know how I want to proceed. But yeah, I think it's cute. Jeans are from Boyish. Crop is from Princess Polly. This button up is, oh my gosh, so old. Probably from like Forever 21, but that's an easy kind of staple that's in every year you'll be able to find. And then Jadon, I think is the name, Doc Martens. And then my go-to necklace sack that I tagged in the last video. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I was just taking a selfie of this outfit. I also ended up tying it around my waist, which I think looks cuter. Regardless, taking a picture so I remember the look. And for the first time in my life, I have a farmer's tan. Like, I can't, oh, a little bit, I can see it. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it or not. <gasps> yeah, you can see it. First time in my life, that's official, 2020 is just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh God, what the fuck? <laughs> Why? You know, it's probably why because for a long time, the only time I was leaving the house was literally to walk talk, which is mostly mainly in a t-shirt, so. <sighs> wow. Okay, so I know this isn't very like folly. I'm still trying to figure out how to make it that way, <laughs> but I thought this was just a really cute outfit all around. I did, I paired this lioness dress that I got from Urban, I believe with some forces and just like mini crew socks and i think it's really cute and then some jewelry and this dress isn't like an off the shoulder dress necessarily it's more of like a button up the front one but i they advertised wearing it like this and i thought it was really cute so now i'm gonna figure out how to make it fall like i'm leaning towards just like a big flannel over top but i honestly don't think i have any other flannels besides my black and white one so maybe just a button up or maybe john has some old flannels i think he gave them all away though i don't know i'll figure it out if i can't find something that like complements the off shoulderness of this then i think i'm just gonna try and pair it with either booties or just some thigh high boots let me know if you guys are interested in seeing more of like how I style things and kind of like the behind the scenes process of creating looks and outfits. I always feel like it's boring and then some of the outfits that I try on come out like terribly just terrible. <laughs> For example, the last one I tried on before this actually was a, it wasn't bad but I just like couldn't figure out how to like make it work. But it was just like a one of John's like long sleeve black oversized, not oversized on him, but oversized on me, t-shirts. And then I paired it with some over the knee boots and I just couldn't figure out. So maybe this was the dress for the over, -knee, over the knee boots. Anyways, basically what I was saying is certain outfits I put on and they're absolutely horrendous. And then I'm like embarrassed that I even ever thought those would look good together. Does anyone else feel like that? I don't know. I'm like, oh God, no, get it off, 
Don't even look at me. Like, I don't even want John to see me. Okay, now I'm gonna go and figure out how to solidify this dress. Okay, so I realized that this dress is just like not, not, I mean, it is a fall dress because it's like long sleeve, but wearing a jacket over it is just not easy because then it goes up like this and I was like, I don't know. I tried a black blazer on and it just looks weird when it's like that, not as flattering. Like I want a little neckline if I'm gonna cover up with like a jacket, you know? So I think I'm leaving this as an early fall transition look with some, I added some sock, sock booties though. So I feel like that helps fallify it a little bit more. I really like it like this. Even just, yeah, even just like slightly open, I think is really cute too. I was also thinking while I was putting these booties on that high top converse or high top platform converse would look really freaking cute with this dress. Like a really cute casual style of it, which I might try those on. I feel like with like short dresses, I want something that's on the heel. Hence why I did like mini crew socks. Just, I don't know, proportions. So just finished filming my little outfits. Made it into a reel. The hardest part about making reels, if you don't know what a reel is, it's basically Instagram trying to take over TikTok like it did Vine. Um, they're basically 15 second videos on Instagram that upload straight to the Explore page and allow you to like reach more people and just fun little creative videos. It did take a little longer. It probably took me like two or three hours since I showed you guys like the outfits. Yeah, I'm gonna do a whole separate video on like editing reels and how I edit my photos and Instagram videos and that kind of stuff because it is definitely a process and kind of hard to describe. It's definitely a process and there are some tips and tricks, but I'm still learning too. And But it's been really fun. It's been like a more creative we way, we <laughs> way for me to share content with you guys. So I added one more outfit in there that I didn't show you guys and I can't remember what it is. I'll... I'll add the video right here so you can see what I'm talking about, see the finished product and how it came together. I added one more outfit, so we got four outfits in like 10 seconds. It's not my favorite transitions I've ever done. I did some really cool ones, but I couldn't fit them in 15 seconds, so I couldn't upload it as a reel, but that's fine. Anyways, I feel like I'm rambling right now, but John's home. He just showered, and now we're gonna eat some dinner and watch something. I'm gonna use the massage gun because I am so sore right now. We had bison tries today. What did we do yesterday? Legs, yeah, my hamstrings are on fire. Heavy deadlift and way more than I have in a long time without me even realizing it. So, <sighs> bye. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next week.